My name is Keith Krutzfeldt. I'm the owner of Syntegrity Solar, and we're based here in Santa Rosa. And this is my home where I've got a couple in-phase systems. Behind me over here, that's uh, on the roof, we have uh, 45 solar panels, LG solar panels, and they do have the IQ7s. So that was installed before the IQ8s were available. But now that uh, we can get the IQ8s, we're installing those, and just down the hill, we have another installation with the eights on it, and we're gonna be leveraging all the benefits of that system. I got exposed to IQ8 a couple years ago when they were first developing the batteries and looking at that technology. We were pushing them back then, hey, when can we get this on the roof and not just in the battery? So it's something we've been aware of for some time. Obviously, it's just been released in the last few months, so we've done a few installs with the IQ8s. The biggest difference, obviously, is the processor speed and its ability to you know, self-form a grid. So another thing with IQ8s is you don't have to worry about the ratio um, like you do with the 7s. You don't have that 150% rule. So it's no longer, hey, I can only have 19 7s on a 7 pluses with a single 10. You know, I can have as many IQ8s as I want on that system. I could have a single 3. I could have four 10s. I could have no batteries. It doesn't matter. I don't have to worry anymore. but that's really the major difference. Uh, installing it, really no difference. It's just like putting in the sevens. For a homeowner, if they're considering going solar with IQ8s, it's really about do you intend or do you desire to have off-grid capability now or in the future? And if they tell me yes, then we definitely go with the IQ8s over the sevens. Uh, because it's just going to make that experience much better. They could start small, so if they wanted to, they could just put in the switch with the IQ8s and have some backup capability with sunlight only. And we could do a small backup loads panel, and then in the future they could add batteries as their, maybe their budget allows, or they can put as many batteries as they want with it. We don't have to worry about any sizing issues or ratios and things like that. So it just gives complete flexibility and kind of fu future proofing um, for their installation. So when we talk to homeowners about solar and battery backup, you know, the first thing we really tell them is, you know, solar is a, a financial play. So if you're really looking to save money and your budget's limited, then just do a solar installation. We can put the IQ8s in now so that if in the future you want to have battery backup capability, we can leverage those and make your system better with backup. But it's just really a cost thing. So like I said, solar is really about financial payback, where once you do battery backup, really the motivation is all about resilience. And so for a lot of people, that resilience is something they're really interested in, but they may not have the budget to do it now, so it's the way to get them ready to do it in the future. With the eight system, the eights themselves with solar can form their own microgrid. So you're no longer dependent on the battery eights Forming that microgrid, the solar can now do it with the eights. So the intent there would be if you do get in that situation, then you can bring the system back up without having to introduce a generator or the grid. So it does give a little more um, capability to the system and resolve some potential homeowner headaches for prolonged outages. So with sunlight backup, that's definitely a new feature with the IQ8s. So what we always tell uh, solar homeowners is that by code, their system must shut down if the grid goes down. Okay, that's called anti-islanding. It's, it's in the code. It's something all inverter manufacturers do. It's for safety reasons. The only way around that up to this point had been battery backup system. So if you wanted your solar system to operate when the grid went down, you'd have to have a battery backup system. Now with the IQ8s, you no longer require the battery system. The solar system can form its own grid, you can have power, but you still do have to have the smart switch to decouple from the grid for safety purposes. You cannot be connected and backfeeding power to the grid when, a, when there is an outage. But sunlight backup with the IQ8s, because they respond so quickly, they can do what the batteries can do as long as the sun is available. And as long as what you're asking for is within what the solar can provide.
with the IQH now, there's a, a broader range of offerings. There's the standard eight, there's the eight plus, which is what this is. They think there's an AM, and so I think you can get all the way up to 500 watt support for solar panels. So if you are looking for those commercial size modules, 72 cell, 500 watt, they should be supported now.